February 10th, 2022, the Social Circle Board of Education is called to order. I'd like to ask everyone who would like to please stand with us as we pray the Lord's Prayer together and remain standing for pledge of allegiance. We have approval of our agenda. Dr. Booker, are there any changes? Uh, no changes to the agenda. Do I have a motion to accept the agenda as presented? I have a second. I second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, please say aye. The agenda is approved unanimously. Next, we have meetings from our January board meeting. I'll change to look those over. I have a motion to approve the meetings of the minutes from the January board meeting. So moved. Do I have a second? I second it. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 If you want to close, please say aye. The minutes are approved unanimously. Next, we have a board comment section. And the first, I'd like to thank you for coming. Um, it's great to have a nice crowd. And I always appreciate your attendance, and you're always welcome here. Um, one thing I want to update you on is, um, and some of you may or may not know this, our, our school system enjoys a great relationship with, with our city of social service. And I wanted to, to update you on a couple of things that could happen that you may or may not know of. Uh, one is, for every board meeting, Dr. Hooker and I meet with the mayor and the city manager and talk about mutual items that interest both the, the city and the school. For example, residential growth and things like that, economic development. Um, and so we do that before any board meeting. I'm not available in the last year's arena. Um, another thing that you should know is that once a year, we, we get together as a group, uh, and that's gonna be at some point in the not too distant future. And uh, it'll be the, the school board and the city council. And this year, we, we, we're likely gonna bring in some other, like planning and zoning and others, uh, because of the, the potential economic development that's coming here. And so we're going to have kind of a, a planning session for economic development amongst um, a lot of folks in the area. So we, we plan well for that. So I just wanted to let you know that, that we enjoy a great relationship with the city. And those are just a couple of examples. Um, another thing is you'll notice a little bit later in the program there's a break. I would ask each of you to please stay at least to the break section. And we have the recognitions before the break so that um, uh, we honor everyone that needs to be honored. After the break, is more of a business section. Uh, you're welcome to stay, but uh, you know, we're, not, we're not locking the door or anything. But, uh, we will have a, a couple minute break, so that if you need to go, uh, you can at that point. But please stay until the end, please. Next, on our agenda on the board comments section, we have the, the National School Counselors Week. And I'll turn that over to Dr. Hunter. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to welcome you folks here as well. Uh, this week is National Counselors Week, and we have uh, photos of our counselors here. We have Ms. Geneva Bug, who has been working with our school district since 2016. She serves the primary and elementary school. We have Ms. Tammy Lompkins, who has served as the counselor at the middle school since 2012. Um, this is her 10 year uh, working in the school district. And then Ms. Christina Justice, this is her first year working at the high school level, but she had served in a capacity before as the college advisor before returning as our school counselor for the high school. So we're excited about them and Dr. Watkins has
created and celebrated with them this week, giving them several gifts. And they are an integral part of our school system, working with our students and families, ensuring that they uh, receive guidance counseling, uh, classroom counseling as well, and just doing small groups to help our students progress throughout the school year. And we thank them for their service. And next, we'll go to CTAE recognition. Uh, February is the month for our career technical agriculture education programs. And we have a great department here. We have Mr. Aaron Robinson, who serves as the director of our CTA program. He's currently, this is his first year with our district. And he also oversees our assessment. He does a great job of working with our staff. Mr. Ben Brand as the Ag Mechanics. He serves, he's been at the high school a number of years here with us, as well as Ms. Julie Brand, who's our workplace learning coordinator. Colonel Bruce Chick, who uh, oversees our ROTC program. We'd like to give them congratulations on yesterday. They went through an assessment from the uh, from our government where they received 98.8 out of 100. So they did a great job of representing us there. We have Sergeant Tom Dignan, who serves as his support there for our ROTC program. Ms. Janet Garrick, who's over our Early Childhood Education program. Mr. Charles Reynolds, who served both the high school and the middle school in business administration. And Mr. Colin Sasso, who serves in healthcare. He's been with us, I think this is his second year with us. And Ms. Lori Smith, who's been with us for a number of years and, and is back at 25% with our school district helping with the health care program. And we are very appreciative of all that they do for our students to keep them engaged. And uh, a lot of these courses offer opportunities where our students do, can seek employment immediately after school. So we're proud to have them on our team. And Two things I want to share with you at this time. First of all, I want to remind you that this is Black History Month. We're celebrating the contributions of Af African Americans in our country and in our community. And our schools have various programs that they're doing throughout this month to celebrate that. And um, I, the students are enjoying those. Uh, the last update I would like to give for you is a new school update on our new elementary school. As we celebrate the counselors of our school district and recognize those remarkable staff members in our CTA program, I want to update everyone on the progress of our new elementary school. During the most recent election, Social Circle Citizens approved the SPOS referendum to, along with other possible projects, fund a new elementary school. While we hope to have this project completed by the fall of 20, 2024, Unfortunately, there are significant supply chains issue due to the pandemic and some additional due diligence required as it relates to the planned location of the new campus. Please trust that our entire governance team is working diligently to find property that will be both a safe and supportive learning environment for the children and staff of Social Circle City Schools. If we cannot, meet our original anticipated start date of August 2024, please know that we will do everything possible to have the new elementary school open by the start of 25-26 school year. Thank you. That concludes my comments, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Dr. Edgar. Next, we have, um, by law, you have to have public participation on your agenda every meeting. Don't know why, but you do. Uh, but tonight we have no one to speak, so we're just going to go from that one. Uh, next is a very important and probably one of my favorite parts of the agenda every, every month, and that's the special recognition. And we'll turn that back over to Dr. Hunter. All right, at this time, I will ask Ms. Favors to come and recognize our student of the month. Good evening, everyone. I would like to start off just by uh, sharing with you a couple of things go that's going on at the primary school. I wanted to mention that our media specialist, Ms. Owens, 
She recently uh, was awarded an EMC empowerment grant in the amount of $6,200 to purchase uh, a mobile uh, STEM card and uh, in, in pursuit of increasing our student engagement. Also, just wanted to remind you that we will have our pre-K online registration starting next week. Uh, students have to be four or, um, or turn four on or before September the 1st. And now, I would like to uh, honor our primary school star student. His name is Ethan Ralston. And just wanted to share with you that Easton is a second grader in Mrs. Seawright's classroom. He started primary school uh, as a pre-K student. And he is a student who you would never know that he's in the classroom because he's a rule follower. And here are just a few things that his teachers, current and former teachers, said about um, our friend Ethan. Always kind to his friends. Uses positive words when speaking to his peers. Waits patiently for his turn. Follows directions in class. Displays honesty. And follows the rules each and every day. We just love Ethan's smile and you'll be able to see him when he comes forward. Please help me congratulate Ethan for being our shining star. celebrations for each grade level and um, I continue to hear the name for reading plus award teachers had to choose three students from the classroom Devontae Bobo then it came to the math, math award Devontae Bobo then it came to the math reading award and a lot of students got it but we got to call the name Devontae Bobo and then you get to choose one student from each classroom for the PE award and it was Devontae Bobo and then the SEL leader in the classroom it was Devontae Bobo. And then for merit roll, as we were honoring that achievement, I also got to call the name Devontae Bobo. So when I got the reminder from Ms. Willis on Monday, who's that student of the month for the elementary school going to be? There was no surprise that it was Devontae Bobo. So let me say a few kind words about him from his teachers. Devontae is a very caring and hardworking student. He is kind and encouraging to both classmates and teachers. He is motivated and always gives his best effort in all he does. Devontae has all the qualities of a true champ. From Ms. Reigns, Devontae is a perfect example of a champ. He is always working hard with others. Devontae is on task and doing exactly what he is asked of him. What is asked of him? He is kind and always helpful. 
He is well-mannered and such a delight to teach. And that was Miss Rhodes. Devante Bobo, Devante Bobo always comes, to, and comes into exploratory class motivated and prepared to learn something new. He is very kind to his peers and a joy to have in typing and cursive class. And that was Miss Kitlinger. And then his homeroom teacher, Miss Joyner, says he is kind, giving, helpful, and respectful of everyone. He works so hard every day. We appreciate, we appreciate him being cooperative, honest, accountable, motivated, and prepared every day. Let's give Devonte Bobo a round of applause. semifinalists for the Governor's Honors Program. We'll be interviewing in the next couple of weeks for that. Uh, we've been busy working on our registration process for our current 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, and we're uh, looking forward to having our rising 8th graders come in for parent night later this month. Uh, our student leadership team was very instrumental in the month of January, helping us plan lots of activities uh, within the classroom and then through our advisement session for Black History Month. So we're excited about that. I'm really excited to share with you guys about our student of the month. Uh, I want to share a few things first with some of the things her teacher said about her. Uh, this young lady completed the ECE pathway and she was a true leader during the pandemic school year, making sure all jobs were covered in her preschool. She always gave planning her three and four year olds her best, writing and implementing creative lessons, and was always the first to help other students with their planning and definitely a role model for other preschool teachers. Her Spanish teacher said, when I taught this young lady, she was always beyond kind and sweet to anyone around her. She could be taught once, and then I could easily sit down and let her do the rest for me. I didn't know, don't worry. I miss teaching her terribly. She already knows my only complaint was that she doesn't go by her first name. 
Uh, her band teacher said she's a wonderful young lady who has made a lasting impact on her band's color guard and the program as a whole. Her creativity, her passion, and her work ethic have made her stand out among her peers. I'm very blessed to have, had, have been able to teach her and teach such a positive, brilliant young lady. I personally have had the privilege of watching her grow up. You see her older sister graduated here in 2019, and she's, all, she's been hanging around for a long time. She pushed herself by taking AP and honors courses throughout her time in social circle, as well as doing enrollment courses. She is always kind, thoughtful, and hardworking. I would like to introduce you to the February student of the month and the class of 22 valedictorian this afternoon. Face to face, we have 
1,951 students and 17 students virtual. And that concludes my report. Questions? recommendation for the school property disposal resolution. Um, have a second. I second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, please say aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, the next one is a, a policy that will um, be explained and then we'll sit on the table for a month. Um, any policy required to um, discuss it in table format before you can vote on it. Uh, so this one is the subject is board member conflict of interest. And it seems to be that there's just one section of it that is um, stricken. Is that the only adjustment? That's the only adjustment, Mr. Chairman. Next down there it's highlighted. And, and again, you're, you're welcome to read that between now and our next meeting and we'll vote on it next month. Um, any questions on that particular policy adjustment at this time? Here we will table that and move to the next one, which is a policy for administrative records. Any explanation required on this one? No explanation there. It's just retained as revised. She pulled it up, and there were a few uh, revisions taking place there. Right. Okay. This one will be tabled as well. No need to vote. We'll vote on that next month. The next one is a uh, policy for drug drug free workplace. Uh, we'll pull that up and people look at it for a second. Again, the highlighted portion that you focus on before our next meeting. Any questions on this one so far? If not, we'll take the next month. We'll table this one, move to the next one, which is um, policy on an employee vacation. It looks like several changes here. Um, uh, any explanation required on this one? No explanation, they just combined two policies to make them one. Okay. We will table employee vacation policy until next month. Next one that we will look at in the table is the professional personnel recruitment policy. It's like maybe a one word adjustment. <laughs> um, but uh, hey, I think we'll, um, group says to change it, and we will. We're not going to be out of compliance. So we'll table that until next month. And then the next one is a policy on gender equity in sports. Again, we have highlighted portions. Uh, this will be tabled to next month. Let's see if we we'll any questions. Hearing none, we'll move for the, uh, for the policy for absences and excuses. Uh, again, another policy that the first time we looked at it and we'll be tabled this month, and we'll be going to all of these next month. Okay, and so having gone through the, the, the policies, we will now move into um, executive section. So I'll, I'll have a motion to 
exit and regular session and move into executive session for the discussion of personnel and real estate. Do I have a second? I second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed to that one? Motion carries unanimously. Go back to the wall. Okay, we have a motion to exit executive session and bring in a regular session. So moved. I have a second. Aye. second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, please say aye. Motion carries unanimously. We're back in regular session. And we'll start with the main personnel recommendation list summary there. And we're going to take all these on one slide. And I'm going to read them. Um, all these are recommendations for personnel from our superintendent. And they are as follows. For certified Christian Santillian, math teacher high school, resignations, Christina Bishop, Teacher of Primary School, Dan Brand High School, Madeline McDaniel Elementary School, Diana Manier Primary School, Laura Smith High School. And then classified, we have a recommendation for a volleyball coach for our, our girls' high school team to be newly formed next year, Josh Paul. Um, we have a motion to accept all of these personal recommendations from our superintendent. So, that was second. I second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 One opposed, please say aye. Motion carries unanimously. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to the uh, recommendations for certified staff. I'm sorry. Going to recommendations for did that. Recommendations for continued employment. We're going to do this a little different. Um, I'm going to read um, some folks one at a time because we have a conflict of interest because people on the board are kin to them. And so that person will abstain, and everybody else will vote on that person. Then we'll go to the main list, um, uh, and then we'll handle it from there. So we're going to start with um, the superintendent recommends Jeremy Brad Callahan continue employment at the high school. I have a motion to accept this recommendation for our superintendent. I have a second. I second. All those in favor of signal of saying aye. Aye. And I abstain. So that passes four yeses and one abstention. Next, we have Jessica Hester from the Middle School High School. I have a motion to accept this personnel recommendation from our superintendent. So I have a second. Second. All those in favor of signal of saying aye. Aye. Any more abstain? Aye. So that's a 4-0 approval with one abstention being supreme. Next we have Ms. Colquitt with the primary elementary school. I have a motion to accept this recommendation for our superintendent. Second. I have a second. Second. All those in favor of seeing that by saying aye. Aye. Any abstention? Aye. Okay, that passes 4-1 with uh, supreme abstaining. Now we have uh, Barr in our primary school. I have a motion to accept this recommendation for our superintendent. Second. I have a second. All those in favor of signal by saying aye. Aye. Any room staying? Aye. That passes 4 0 with some room staying. Next, we have Ms. Sanford, Grace Stanford, in the high school. I motion to accept this recommendation from our superintendent. So moved. I have a second. Okay. All those in favor of signal by saying aye. Aye. Any room staying? Aye. Stay. Right. Again, 4 0 passes with one room staying at the Sabrina, which we then over for the next one, which is Crystal Sanford in high school. I have a motion to accept this recommendation from Superintendent. Second. Have a second. All those favor, see what you say, aye. 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 Opposed, please say aye. Motion carried unanimously, except for one abstain. Abstain. Abstention, and that is Sabrina. Next, we have, uh, we're going to someone else's team vote. <laughs> <laughs> we have Carla Griffey in uh, middle school. I have a motion to accept this recommendation from Superintendent. I have a second. I second. All those in favor of signal over saying aye. Aye. Any more abstaining here? Aye. Alright, so we have a 4 0 vote with one abstaining being recovered. Next, we have uh, Courtney Lester in the primary school. I have a motion to accept this personnel recommendation for our superintendent. I have a second. I second. 
All those in favor of seeing that moment saying aye. Aye. You want to abstain? Well, that one's fine though. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we got that. All right. And so now um, we're going to take um, these, and I'm not reading every name. But we're going to say that uh, I'm going to ask for a recommendation to approve everyone on the primary school slate before us, except anyone who may have been mentioned previously. I have a motion to accept those personal recommendations from our superintendent. Mm -hmm. I have a second. I second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 One opposed, please say aye. Motion carries unanimously. The entire slate of primary school candidates have been approved by the school board based on the superintendent's recommendation. Same deal with the elementary school. I have a motion to accept all the recommendations from, from our superintendent for elementary school continuing employment, other than anyone we may have mentioned previously. I have a second. I second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 No one opposed, please say aye. Motion carries unanimously. All of the slate of elementary school employees are approved by the school board. Next, we move to middle school. Same drill. I have a motion to accept all of the names listed before you on middle school personnel recommendations from our superintendent, other than anyone we may have mentioned previously. I have a second. I have a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, please say aye. Motion carries unanimously. Now we go to high school staff. We have a motion to accept these personnel recommendations from our superintendent, other than anyone we've already previously approved tonight. I have a second. I have a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, please say aye. Uh, all, all the slate um, is approved by the board unanimously. And now we have administration. All those before you. Um, do I have a motion? I don't think any of these. Do I have a motion to approve the entire slate of administrators is recommended by our superintendent? Do I have a second? I second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, please say aye. Motion carries unanimously. The school board approves all personal recommendations as presented, as recommended by our, our superintendent tonight. All right. Let me ask before I go through any further, did I miss anything? I got it all. I mean, anybody see anything I missed? There no misses? We did that on that one slate to start with, right? Okay. So, so we're covered, and uh, hearing that we're covered, I ask for a motion to adjourn. I have a second. I second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say aye. Meeting adjourned. Thanks for attending.